stand here. The sun is down, but I hope you're still up. Ooh, the race for the mayor's desk is taking some twisty turns, folks. Weldon Holt reportedly shed tears at Lucius Ryan's grave, but rumors are swirling that those tears were extra salty. Did Holt play a role in the late mayor's demise? Or is this political mudslinging at its finest? Whatever the reality, I know plausibility when I smell it. Stand here, the sun is down, but I hope you're still up. Is it a mirage, a hologram? No, my friends, it's clear open skies, but don't take it from me. Get out there and enjoy the sun.
stand here. The sun is down, but I hope you're still up. Is it a mirage? A hologram? No, my friends. It's clear, open skies. But don't take it from me. Get out there and enjoy the sun. Cyber psychosis. How many tombs he wipe in that church? Like 14? Got more body bags than that on our street every morning.
is N54 News with a breaking story. A cyber psycho attack shocks Wellsprings. Lester McKenzie, age 28, opened fire at the River Mall Shopping Center. The shooting lasted 10 minutes before the assailant was killed shortly after MaxTac forces arrived. 35 people were pronounced dead at the scene and another 20 remain in critical condition. The Implant Manufacturers Association has issued a statement in response to the incident, stating, quote, Our thoughts and prayers go to the victims and their families. We at the IMA extend our sincerest condolences in the wake of this unavoidable tragedy. End quote. River Mall administration has announced plans to reopen within the hour. They have offered a 50% discount at participating stores to the families of the victims. Stay tuned to N54 News for developments on the story.
Wood shaking, Night City. Your man Stan here. Ooh, the race for the mayor's desk is taking some twisty turns, folks. Weldon Holt reportedly shed tears at Lucius Ryan's grave, but rumors are swirling that those tears were extra salty. Did Holt play a role in the late mayor's demise? Or is this political mudslinging at its finest? Whatever the reality, I know plausibility when I smell it.
Shaken Night City, your man Stan here. Have you heard the latest urban legend haunting the city? About a man possessed by a demon. He roams the streets begging, pleading Got for her. help. It's said he's a former Netwatch agent who dove too deep into the net, but didn't return himself. Honestly, true or not, it'll make for a real blockbuster someday.
What's shaking, Night City? Your man Stan here. Ooh, the race for the mayor's desk is taking some twisty turns, folks. Weldon Holt reportedly shed tears at Lucius Ryan's grave, but rumors are swirling that those tears were extra salty. Did Holt play a role Grimey. in the late mayor's demise? Or is this political mudslinging? Hey, V, I heard some soldier just open fire on pedestrians at the pier. If you can swing it, I want him stopped but not killed. Then I'll send the right people for him. More details are on the way. And V, good luck.
business is my business. Let's dive straight into today's big story, folks. Arasaka has announced the sale of its unprofitable facilities in Kitakinyushu and Fukuoka. This is just the next step in the bold restructuring plan spearheaded by new CEO Yorinobu Arasaka, which he announced at last week's shareholders meeting. Some analysts have estimated the savings from these cuts could amount to upwards of 20 billion euro dollars. According to sources close to the CEO, the sales initial boom will be used to fund new research and development centers. Though long considered a black sheep in the Arasaka dynasty, Yorinobu has apparently erased investors' doubts. After a shaky start, Arasaka Corp has jumped by 3%. But what's next for the Japanese Colossus? Tune in to the next Your Business is My Business to find out.
Konnichiwa, Night City. I'm Arif Iqbal, and this is WNS News. We begin today's broadcast with a piece of welcome local news. Next year, Night City will play host to a Japanese festival of culture. The lineup of activities will include anime brain dances, a concert series featuring the year's hottest Aidoru, as well as culinary workshops. The festival's headlining sponsor is the Arasaka Corporation. To them, I offer my own personal heartfelt arigato gozaimasu. In other news, the homeless population in Night City has risen by 300%. The NCPD has announced that it will soon launch a sweeping catch and release program to relocate the vagrants outside city limits. The police are asking any willing volunteers eager to help in the effort to report to their local NCPD station. In exchange, the police are offering the chance of a criminal record reset to those who actively participate. Night City, what does it mean to you? How well do you know its history? Who was Richard Knight? How many stations are in the NCART system? Which city district boasts the best burrito in town? The answers to these questions and more can be found at the address at the bottom of your screen. Check it out and fall in love with Night City all over again. That's it for today's latest. Thank you for spending your day with WNS News.
shit, not good. veterans and change.
reported it. Adam will deal with it. What? No, it, it's fine. Just forgot my pills. Don't worry, I'll survive. It's been worse. Six months before vacay. Then it's all downhill. I reported it. Adam will deal with it. What? No, it, it's fine. Just forgot my pills.
もしもしPlay gorilla now. Take her from behind. I'm flanking her.
como uno. ¡A huevo!
your afternoon anyone else have that grandpa who go on and on about horses half my childhood i dreamed of galloping around the badlands now biotech might just make a cowpoke of me yet as they prepare a prototype for their robo bronco i crack a lousy joke about the horsepower it must be packing but honestly i'm too giddy to think straight
city. You need something?
Back with you so soon? How's your afternoon? Is it a mirage? A hologram? No, my friends. It's clear, open skies. But don't take it from me. Get out there and enjoy the sun.
Back with you so soon? How's your afternoon? Troubling news out of the Glen today as a 17-year-old girl was struck by a speeding vehicle. Fortunately, she survived. However, the driver responsible didn't stop to help, leaving the girl alone on the curbside to fight for her life. Night City, I ask you if you spot a black Villa Ford Cortez with a dented hood, please call it in. NC, back with you so soon? How's your afternoon? Is it a mirage? A hologram? No, my friends. It's clear, open skies. But don't take it from me. Get out there and enjoy the sun. Thank <laughs> you. 